This video is a compilation of some of the clips that I took when I was making this contraption. Uh, and basically it's a clock that tells the time, but it also has the ability to get inspirational quotes from online and also set up a study timer that gives you timed study times as well as breaks. Um, so you can see there's a couple buttons here and there's an LED display. And so this goes through the journey of all the things that I had to do to, to get this to exist. So yeah. Cool, so yeah, this is one of the early tests that um, I was doing and this is just connecting to the Wi-Fi and getting the actual time, which is pretty complicated just to connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, and once I got that working, I played around with the display a little bit to see what that would look like. So here you can see um, it's displaying a few different kinds of text as well as a clock. Notice that it looks kind of wide, so um, I actually thought the numbers would not fit to, to display the time, so I designed my own font um, pixel by pixel and so that it would display in a more aesthetically pleasing way. And you can see it's a little narrower. And then when I connected the board to Wi-Fi, then I could put it all together where I could display the current time as well as um, get it to show up on the LED matrix itself. So all this code is just to center that time text because you know the time could have different numbers of digits. So if it's like a two digit time versus a one digit hour, then it still has to be centered so that that code handles that. Um, oh yeah, and then I also added a little emoji or uh, in animation what's called a sprite. And so this sprite will sit on the rightmost 8x8 panel and just kind of change throughout you know, as time progresses. And I actually designed a, a few different animated little sprites. Um, and these are all kind of drawn pixel by pixel by hand. Um, and to display them, they kind of just show up on the side next to the time. This is a study timer. This is like when you're studying and this is a break, this is what shows up. And this is just a countdown, which is a little bit different from the time, um, which tells you how much time you have left to study or, or in your break. And so then it came to the first time to test the electronics plugged into the wall. So prior to this, they were all being tested plugged into my USB cable, but here I'm using a power supply board um, and plugging all the electronics onto a breadboard, which is plugged directly into the wall using a 12 volt uh, AC adapter, which is providing power. And so this is a little nerve wracking because now you're working with the actual wall power rather than just a five volt USB cable. But as you can see, um, there were a few minor hiccups, which I didn't record, but everything seemed to be working finally in the end. And so that's when I decided to solder um, everything onto a board. So I was working on a breadboard before, but then when we start to get actually uh, closer to the final product, we have to solder stuff onto a more smaller footprint where we can then put it inside of the, the final product. So this is me adding some solder paste to um, this prototyping board where uh, we're then gonna solder some pins on. And so yeah, this is pretty satisfying, but the rest of the stuff was a lot harder to solder, especially the small wires and stuff. And now that we have these pins uh, soldered onto the board, then we can attach this microcontroller, which is kind of the brains of the whole system. It's basically a mini computer. And the way I had the pins instead of um, soldering it directly to the board is so that I could swap it out and remove it if there's ever a problem with that. Um, and I also have some parts that are 3D printed. For example, this matrix is really bright. So I have a diffuser panel, which is 3D printed on this glass surface to make it really glossy and smooth. And um, you'll see in the final product that this is put on the LED matrix to make it a lot more um, easy on the eyes and a lot easier to see the actual uh, image that's being displayed. So here is where I'm recording the, uh, I'm basically telling about like when I first plugged in everything into the wall on the complete system that I soldered together, there were some kind of mishaps where um, I had to go back and fix a lot of things due to some problems with the wiring. And um, 
So I plugged it in the first time and it didn't work immediately. So I was kind of freaked out. So I unplugged it immediately because if something like that happens in electronics, usually if you plug something in and it doesn't work immediately, then something must be wired wrong and you gotta unplug it as fast as you can. Otherwise, you know, your electronics will probably be fried. So that was, I kind of panicked about that, but um, it turns out nothing was permanently broken. And so um, it seems like some things were salvageable. And the reason why I didn't turn on it in the beginning was because I didn't set the power supply up correctly. So this is now my first actual complete integration test with all of the different uh, things together plugged into the wall. And um, now I'm putting the power supply pin back on so that I supply five volts to the uh, board as well as to the LED matrix. And so this is me plugging in the 12 volt uh, DC input. And so now this thing has power. So when I press the power button, it should turn on. And I'm pretty nervous at this point because I want to make sure that it works. Okay, great. So it works. Um, yeah, so it shows up Wi-Fi. I'm very relieved. And um, the reason why it shows up Wi-Fi is because when you plug it in for the first time, it has to take a little bit of time to connect to the Wi-Fi. Um, and the Wi-Fi details, it's actually pretty interesting. They're not hard coded in. The Wi-Fi details are um, done over the air. So if it doesn't have the Wi-Fi connection login, it actually will create a web server where um, you can then log into an access point. So you basically go to your phone's Wi-Fi settings, click on the clock's Wi-Fi, which is its own personal Wi-Fi network, and then you can enter your Wi-Fi details there, and then it will remember those for the future. Um, yeah, I guess here I'm just demonstrating that the panel gets pretty bright. Um, and I don't really know what I'm saying, but it gets really like blue, which is why this, this diffuser panel here is necessary. So here's an example of the countdown. Obviously I sped it up. Um, the 3D printed case that I made is actually really complicated because to support this like odd shape of electronics panels, we got to slide it in somehow. So this is kind of the format that, um, I ended up settling with and there's some cutouts to access the various ports in the back to supply power as well as to um, ever reprogram the ESP8266 microcontroller just in case that is um, needed. And obviously there's a hole in the top to access the, the power button. Um, and the two notches on the top are where I can slide in the push buttons because there isn't really a good way to mount them so I kind of have to slide them in and they're designed in a way that they should fit in um, pretty snugly, although in the in the initial prototype, they're a little bit loose. So I added some hot glue to tack them in and um, Yeah, so this is ended up um, being a pretty Solid way to mount all this stuff together and as you can see in the design in the design It looks, you know, pretty much like this when it's all together um, pretty close to what is the final final design we ended up with uh, removing the front panel and the diffuser as well as the matrix you can see like the electronics inside and how they fit within the board so oh, that's upside down so they basically slide in through the notches and um, the friction is enough to keep them secure but there's also like a, a screw that you can use to keep them locked in um, yeah which I thought was a pretty clever design so Putting it all together, now you can see, um, yeah, it actually you know, looks pretty close to the design. And then the buttons seem to work pretty well. So here's it, here it is in clock mode, the normal mode. You can increase the brightness um, to a pretty significant degree. And then generating the quote works. This is the study timer counting down from 25 to study. And then after that, it'll go into a five minute break. Um, the power cable plugs in pretty nicely and uh, yeah, everything seems to look pretty nice. So hopefully now we'll just have to see if this stands up to the test of time. Um, but this is meant to be able to run uh, for a while. So hopefully that happens. <laughs>